to help her. Today, I'm going to be showing us how we can build the SMTP server that goes in Inbox with just our domain, meaning that we are not going to use VPS in this tutorial. This is another video tutorial which covers how you can set up your own SMTP servers with just your domain without using any VPS. All other platforms which you're going to be used will be given. If this is your first time of watching this video, kindly do well by hitting the subscribe button and stay updated on our videos like this. So let's drive straight into this video. The first thing you need to get is to have your domain address. And that's the first thing that we need. Since we are using domain in this um, video, you need to get your domain. And how do you get your domain? You can get your domain on Namecheap or you get your own domain from um, GoDaddy. So I'm not going to go deep in this um, buying of domain. If you want the full tutorial of this course, you can check the description below this video to reach out. So you can search your domain depending on the names you want to use. Let's say you are searching for two. Um, a red way. Com. You search it like this, then you hit the search button or you press the enter button on your computer. Okay, then so once you search just like this, um, you're going to have your results. You can see you can pick any one that you want, and you can see this one that we searched for and it's available. So you can add to cart and purchase your own domain. But I have a domain which I'm going to be using in this tutorial. I'm going to be using this domain for this tutorial okay so so the next thing is to um for us is to introduce to you the secret uh, hosting platform which we're going to be using to host our domain instead of using vps uh, like i said we are not using the vps in this tutorial we're going to be using this um, hosting platform which we're going to be giving to you in the full tutorial of this video so once you get in there you're going to log in uh, with your domain and uh, you're going to get a dashboard just like this and inside your dashboard like this this is a domain name which is already included inside this panel so i'm going to be adding a new project now click on add a project now it's going to ask you for your domain name and uh, to get your domain name so you just go to your domain the name you wanted to use so just copy the domain and you come back um, to this box and paste the domain inside here something like this and it's going to give you records which we ask you to verify your domain so there are different ways which you can verify your domain you can either verify with html file you can see on the screen using the meta tag you can verify using the dns check or you verify using the dns transfer so i'm just going to use the dns check and uh, when you click on the DNS check, you will be given your DNS records. And uh, you see, it is in TFT. So you'll be given the records. So you just have to copy the records, which was given, then go back to your domain uh, manager and put it there, just like this. So you go to your advanced DNS. Okay. Then you're going to copy this and it says, like this txt is a txt and the first thing is at so come back here then i'm going to create um the new record so add a record it's going to be txt right here this will be at and uh, i'll copy the value and save this once that's done you come down here and click on um, confirm then you wait till it's propagated. So it's not found yet. So you have to give it some time, few minutes for it to be propagated. Then once it's um, confirmed and propagated, this blue will show green. So then you can proceed. So I'm going to wait a bit. Okay, so now that it's connected, um, we're going to do our MX record. All this record will be given to us by them. So yours is just to copy them. And uh, now you see they are telling us to do our MX record. And to do your MX record, you copy your um, copy your subdomain and you copy the data and you put it inside your TNS record. So once that is done, you click on check um, all entries to see. So once you click on check entry and you have blank, 
space like this you refresh it you control r and refresh to page and the nice thing is for it to do the spf record you said it's not configured so you see this click on instruction to configure your spf record to, and do that okay, so once all record are turned green like this especially the mx record and the spf record so the dicking record might delay due to the propagation then you can proceed and the next thing you would do is to go to your and create a user create a user i'm going to create a user now. so this user is just like a um a domain name an email account so it will be you put a name that you want and it's going to be for example let's say um mail at the domain that we use.com that will be our smcp username so you can see i want them to send me the login details the web mail details so this is my email address so i'll click create so here is my mail i'm just going to copy the link which was given then i'm going to log into my webmail just like this so this one would be username would be mail and uh, the password will be the one i set and i can say log into mail so after the whole setup now um, i'm just going to um, get my external password which i can use for my um, smtp this password is what i'm going to be using so <clears throat> just going to copy this and it says copy then i'm not going to refill this then um i'm going to be using this software which is ultra miller this is what i'm going to be using for sending this book mail so to get started with this i'm going to go to the sender email right click in here and add a new sender so that's the first thing which i'm going to be doing on adding a new sender then it's going to ask for my xmtp credentials information so now i'm going to put the password which i just copied then my username is going to be this and send from is going to be this also so sender name i can just use to help okay then reply to you might reply to this email or you might wish to put your own gmail address there so i'm going to be using port 587 enable the xsl or tls so that's the um, um first thing which you're going to do once you complete with your smtp in credentials then you can uh, you can then put add new sender okay but before then let's check if our uh, email server is in team inbox so to do that i'm just going to click on send test email and you see this is my email address and uh, this is uh, my browser okay this is what i'm going to be using okay and let's see let's go back here and click send test mail and it says send test sources so let's confirm this by going to our email address and here on the email if i refresh this i'm going to see this you can see this it comes straight into inbox and you can see it comes from mail at the domain that we use so this is a um, very good one so before we go i'll click on okay then add to new send so to send your book email, I like to use my chat GBT to get my contents, my email content, and I'm going to do that by going to this um, chat GBT. So I will prompt him to write me an email campaign that I can send to my customer to promote this software. So I just tell him to write me an email campaign, it's spam free one. Then as you can see, it gives me suggestion for the subject which I can use. First one is a build your own SMTP server, no extended it. New course, send email with just domain name. Skip expensive, you know, to build the same. And if we scroll down, you can see um, the email body. This is the email body which we're going to be using. So let's go back to our Ultra Miller and get it set up. I'm going to my category. I'm assuming I'm sending mail to this. Um, okay. Um, okay, so let me just go with this. I'm just going to copy i'm going to use this then assuming i'm going to start this comp um, company you can see there is nothing in there so i'm just going to do import data so from here i already copied it so i'm going to use the control v method and uh, you can see it's loading up here is the email which i want to blast so going forward to my content from this place i'm going to do compose so compose then we'll go back to the chat gbt so from my chat GPT, I can just pick anyone. Um, uh, from your domain, okay, let's use this first one. 
and I'm going to copy this, come back here, put it in my subject, then from my body, I'm going to use this content. So from this place, I'm just going to apply a link to this, um, let me apply my link, my URL, my tele, okay, let me apply my sales page. So using this, I'm just going to put my URL and click on, okay, and I click on add to pending list, then it's time for us to send. Then I'm going to hit the button, start sending. Immediately as this button starts sending, the, the our message starts sending. So this is our list. So I'm going to say start. And let's see, it's sending. You can see send source. So you can see. So guys, that's how you can set up your own inbox SMTP and guarantee inbox. This guarantee inbox. So if you're interested in getting this tutorial, now you can go about it. You know, this is just a demo video. Kindly check the description of the video and hit me on my WhatsApp or my um, Telegram, or you can buy directly from the link which will be provided for you to order. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to see you.